bonus episode. Oh, I get an engineering degree. Sam investigates a signal box. Red over yellow, right on. And we get our eardrums blasted. <laughs> Season 3, Episode 2 of Down the Line. Today we're at Bendigo and we're about to chase A2986 and N456 back to Melbourne on the Easter Monday special. The A2 class has been here during the weekend operating shuttles and also a trip to Echuca on Easter Saturday. It is actually going to be my first time chasing on the Bendigo line so there's going to be a bit of learning curves to uh, come by during, during the day but it should be a good trip. Well, come join us down the line and enjoy the episode. So the Loco is going down to the down end of Bendigo Station now and it's going to come into Platform 2 ready for its departure back to Melbourne. So we're actually going to go south to Big Hill to get it climbing up the first big grade of the line from Kangaroo Flat up towards uh, Harcourt. Okay, so compared to other episodes of Down the Line, let's just say that the, the weather's not exactly the greatest. If you're a normal person, not a gun. The advantage to having weather like this is the steam and smoke plumes will be a lot more dramatic, especially when you've got a 1915 A2 class like on the front, making a lot of steam and smoke and plenty of noise. And the other thing is the rails will be relatively slippery from the from the rain because it's, it's trickling down pretty lightly it was forecast to be a lot worse than this the the shot should be very good hopefully we'll be working very hard and hopefully the a2 will be doing all the work Seven seconds it took that shot. <laughs> okay, so we're at the Big Hill Bridge now. Um, this is where the A2 will be climbing up the grade um, from Kangaroo Flat. This line used to be double track, so it's actually going to be slowing the train down today because they have to cross about three times in total. This shot will be very, very good. And there's a few people here, and you'll be you're about to see why.
right, next stop, Castle Mine. Save your crumbs to save the weak. The man walks, the blind man see. All right, so our next stop is the Marcus Creek overpass, and just outside of Harcourt. This shot, like basically all of the shots on this line, I've never done before, so I'm going by the by the recommendations of our trusty uh, mad photographer, also known as Sam, to basically like recommend the shots. And this one apparently is a very good shot in both directions, so we'll see what it's like. Yellow, right eye. Sam's mad. Uh, <laughs> we're at Sawmill Road. This oh. shot is going to be really, really cool because we've got this massive straight, which is probably about a kilometre long or so. And the signal has just changed from red, uh, from all red to red over yellow, which is a diverging approach, which is turning into either number one road or number two road. It's going to be crossing a velocity here, which will be waiting. Uh, probably either waiting at Castle Main or it's going to be coming in just as the A2 is coming in. If that's the case, we'll either get it at Castle Main Station or we'll go straight to Chewton Bank to get what I call it, what, which is in my opinion the money shot of this chase, which will be climbing up towards Elphinstone Tunnel. I think I can hear it. It's cold too. Oh, we're going back to Melbourne Avenue now. Did I mention it's cold? Oh, yep, here he comes. That was a magnificent shot. All right, now the next spot, which will probably be the um, approach to Elphinstone Tunnel. That was a fantastic shot at that, Marcus Creek. Now we're coming into Castle Bay now, the um, starting point on the Victorian Goldfields Railway and also the main intermediate station on the line from um, Melbourne to Bendigo. We are going to go, as I said before, to the approach to Elphinstone Tunnel, which is going to be a, um, like I said, it's going to be the money shot because it's going up a one in 40 gradient for five miles from here at Castle Bay all the way to the tunnel, and then it's downhill basically all the way to Melbourne. So we're technically not at Elphinstone Tunnel, but we are right near it. And we're still on the 1 in 40 gradient out of Castle Main through Chewton and towards the tunnel. This is still going to be a very good shot and it'll be probably one of the first times that the opportunity has been 
taken to have the A2 solo going up this hill because it's usually been double heading when it's been going to Castle Main or going to Bendigo. So this is probably going to be one of the first shots since probably the 1960s where you've been able to get the A2 on its own working its heart out. So this is going to be a really nice shot. You can tell this line was built in the 1860s when the um, when all the shots we've gotten so far are at bridges. The next one won't be, but this one certainly is, and the previous two have been too. <laughs> oh well, I'm not complaining. Just an observation. Call the camera, not me. I have a Cert 2 in engineering, and I figured out that. I don't have to hold it now, I'm happy. <laughs> Speaking of which, here comes the train. was the bucket shot 100%. That was fantastic, I love that. All right, next stop, Kynson, to get the two velocities that it will be crossing at Taradale Loop and then getting it going through there as well. All right, so we just got an awesome shot at the bridge just before the Elphinstone Tunnel. We're now heading to uh, Malmesbury Station to get it like against the station light because it is getting pretty dark now. It's just before six o'clock and the lighting at this shot should be pretty, pretty good. So I'm looking forward to this shot actually. It's gonna be really nice. Um, it's gonna be crossing two down velocity. Oh, I think it's, yeah, from memory it's two down velocities and we'll hopefully get at least one of those when we're at Malmesbury. So, either way we'll get at least two trains, if not we'll just get the steam rail special going through. Okay, so we somehow made it for the up velocity that we're waiting for. So we get a shot of that, and it's about to come in now. Feels like I know you better than others, but you don't care, you never reply. I've tried shutting you off for some time now, but I'm still hearing your voice in my head. Oh, I wish I was
Oh, cool. That's the first of the um, two velocities, and the other one we hear very shortly on the down. 24 minutes apparently. Okay, so we think the A2 is coming, and if, it, if that's the case, it's early. So we'll see what happens, because it's got a green, green signal down there, so most likely it's here. Pretty awesome. The train is now actually a little bit early, uh, so we don't actually know what, where it's like what time it's scheduled for. So the down velocity was obviously late. So the control, the controllers in Melbourne must have decided to get the steam rail special through early to to possibly beat it to Kyneton, and from there it's double track. So. It doesn't have to worry about crossing out the trains. It's got a clear line right through to Melbourne now. So our next shot is Gisborne Railway Station. Because it's dark now, we're just going to focus on getting shots at stations with LED lighting. Instead of um, like the old orangey tinge lighting, the LEDs, they basically, they bring out the trains more. And it, it, because of that, it makes the shots really nice. As was proven at Malmesbury, and also will be proven at Gisborne when we get there. It's about a half an hour drive from here, so it'll be a very, very good shot, hopefully. And all the shots have been good for that matter. Hopefully they get better, even without the light. Just about to approach um, Gisborne. We made it with about, by the sounds of that, not much to spare. Lighting on 
the stations these days is absolutely superb and that was a good example of it. It was a fantastic shot there. The next shot we're going to is Digger's Rest Station on the what is now the Metro Sunbury line. It used to be country until about 2012, so 10 years this year. And it should be a good shot. I'm, I, basically all the shots we've done today I've never done before. So I'm looking forward to how this shot comes out. It should be pretty similar to previously, although we may have to be on the side of the, the locomotive, well, where, where the steam rail special is going to be going through um, to make sure that we don't get blocked by a metro train. So we'll see what happens. Hopefully this shot's really good. Okay, so we're at Digger's Rest now. We're gonna wait for the A2 to come through. There's probably gonna be a couple of Metro trains coming through first, and then the A2 class will come through. And this will be our last shot for the day, and I'll wrap up the video straight after the shot. Give it for the concept. Absolutely. <laughs>
an added bonus there of two commenters um, passing each other. The site then probably in six, six, seven years of time will never be able to happen again. All right, on a brighter note, it was a really good day today. We got a total of six shots of the A2 class going from Bendigo to here at Diggers Rest. Uh, it was a great way to end the weekend for Steamrail. They did an awesome job with the way they ran it. Unfortunately, we could only cover this this bit of it on Easter Monday because of prior other commitments. But yeah, hope you enjoyed the video. Please like, comment, and subscribe to the videos if you enjoyed it. And we'll see you next time, down the line.